I watched the DVD that you left with these. For my eyes only. In the event that you're near death, I'm supposed to use Orpheus to save you. Yeah, well, I made that DVD back in the day when I trusted you. Before the tiny minds in this town turned you against me. In order to save you, I'd have to know every detail about Orpheus. <laughs> how you used it on people, how you kept them alive. Oh, yeah, well, you can forget about that now. My sister is falling in love with Tad Martin. Is this obituary wrong? Is Dixie Martin alive? What about Zack Slater? Oh, okay. Now we're getting down to it. Are you afraid if Zack is still breathing, he might stand as a rival for Kendall's affections? Well, let me break this to you gently, Doctor. There would hardly be a contest. Is Kendall's husband alive? Janet from another planet started the fire. I don't go by that name any longer. Janet saved me. I owe her this. What, you planned this escape together? Now, I promise you that today, absolutely no one got hurt, although I do, I, I have the burns to, to show that I was hands-on. You know, I don't feel a thing. I think my skin must be thicker than I thought. Janet really took a chance for me. It's called arson, Mom. Oh, why don't you just say it? You think I'm crazy. You think I belong back in Oak Haven. No, of course not. not. Mom, listen, it's just being kidnapped and being held against your will. Of course, you would be traumatized. Hmm. Let's go. Mm -hmm. No, Mom, wait. No, it's obvious we are not welcome here. Of course you are. You just, you have to admit that the story, it's a little bit crazy. Actually, no, it, it isn't. 1991, or was it, well, maybe 92, my sister Natalie, I relocated her to a well, and then I presented myself to Trevor as his blushing bride. Oh, the brass ring was mine. No one caught on for months. I had the man of my dreams, and I had my sweet baby Amanda. Uh, well, except for the part where you ended up in prison. Excuse me? Who was my cellmate? Did you forget that part? All I'm saying is that Erica's story is rock-solid fact. The only nut jobs here are you for not believing her. We can deal with that later. Right now, you need to help me. You need to help me and Janet and the others. Wait, wait there are more? Who? Uh, I think you should see them for yourselves or else you're going to think I'm crazy again. Enough chit-chat. I'm going to go to the park and I'm going to bring them back. Okay, but be careful, please. A and if the police catch you, um, don't tell them where I am. I set a three-alarm fire with the flick of a match. I think evading a flat-footed gumshoe is going to be a piece of pie. Emma, this is so beautiful. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, you are so scrumptious. Oh. Hey, Ems, I bet your mom is really thirsty. You want to run to the kitchen and um, grab her a soda? Of course. OK. <laughs> She seems happy. Are you? Yes. Good. I'm sorry for so many things. I never should have turned Emma against Greenlee. I was angry at you. I wanted to hurt Greenlee, and I wanted to hurt you, and really, I just ended up hurting Emma. Emma's fine. Because she has her dad. Oh, I'm working really hard to get better. For Emma. God, she's really growing up, isn't she? We have a pretty amazing little girl. Yeah, we do. Could I stay a little longer? Maybe tuck her in or listen to her prayers? Penny, and... the police are going to be looking for you. Ryan, with Oak Haven gone, they could send me anywhere. What, what if it's too far away for her to come visit me? I will bring her. You didn't bring her once to Oak Haven. Honestly, because I, I did not think you were well enough. You wanted to protect her from me. She needs her mommy. I know that now, and I promise you that I will bring her. Thank you. Well, maybe you should make that call to the police. But I don't, I don't want Emma to see them take me away, okay? I'll make sure she does.
listen uh, to the way you like You are the best daughter in the whole wide world. What do you say we read this again? Yeah? Yay. Okay, first, I want kisses and hugs and kisses and more, 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 more hugs, more hugs, more hugs. Wait, hold on. Are you sure you should be doing that? Uh, I feel fine. How? What do you mean? Do I look that bad? No. No, you look perfect. Thank you. You don't look so bad yourself. You, you, you've got a haircut. <laughs> a couple hundred haircuts. I'm sorry that I missed them. Well, there are one or two. Be glad you missed. Yeah. Are you really having this conversation? You always like talking about hair and clothes. Yeah, when you were alive, but... I should have known. I should have felt something and found you. Right, because finding someone, that's your specialty, right? How long did it take you to find me that first time around? I can't feel your heartbeat. Trust fund, you let me know. You still need convincing? I am exquisitely happy at this very moment, Leo. I am. You may be too good to be true. <laughs> Never. I uh, bet that soap I dropped down here somewhere. <laughs> uh, that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm real greens. No bubble bath, no soap, but it's me. And I'm even wearing the same cologne that I wore before. Smell it. <laughs> no, seriously, smell it. Mm -hmm. I wasted so much time pretending I didn't love you, and then when I lost you, all I wanted to do was go back to the beginning and tell you I love you the second I knew. You know, it wasn't easy for me to say it either. But we finally got it right. Yeah. Life raft all patched up, just like you promised. And then you died. I thought 